we're shaped by experience. That's the nature of, of, of mankind. And I think, you know, clearly what the crisis showed us is that some things don't work effectively. And uh, what we've had uh, since then is, you know, there has been a shift in, I think, the dial in terms of uh, certainly I think what we're seeing more and more is that product manufacturers, uh, you know, need to focus more on suitability of what's sold to their customers. I mean, that is absolutely clear. So, uh, and I think that is, uh, I think, a consequence of the crisis. You know, we had the issue with the collateralised debt obligations where basically those uh, securities were often missold to customers who had no idea what they were buying. So I think that is probably the, the new normal that, you know, it's up to, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we can't, regulators can't be looking over every investor's shoulder. That's clear. Uh, but the traditional paradigm, I think, is still that we need to focus on making sure that, that financial literacy is available and we do emphasise it. But I think you're right, we've stepped up holding gatekeepers to account who have a role in the, in the financial system to do you know, their job for investors, whether they be the manufacturers, directors, market uh, intermediary. So I think we have strengthened, if you want, the role of the gatekeepers in terms of their role in the financial system you know, since the uh, crisis. And I think you can actually look at various regulations that uh, have been you know, strengthening the role of financial market intermediaries. Uh, has happened uh, you know, post-crisis. You've had, for example, many jurisdictions, uh, financial advisors, their duty, their fiduciary duty has been strengthened if you're advising a customer on a product and equally uh, product manufacturers in terms of targeting and the issue of suitability I think uh, is very much front and centre. And uh, in fact, you know, I said in a speech today that basically selling products to customers who have no idea what they're buying is not a sustainable business. And that if product manufacturers uh, are doing that, then they need to wise up because at the end of the day, either governments or the courts will basically rule in favour of investors. And we've seen that happen around the world post-crisis.